Okay, so I'm just going to put my pan on medium high and add some olive oil in here. Let it get hot before I add my eggs. And then when my eggs are about cooked, I'll add my ham in and warm it up. I cooked this earlier before everybody was awake. So I just had to warm it up and didn't have to wait on it cooking. One thing I find that makes it easier is to crack your eggs a little bit before you get ready to cook. Okay, so that was the first spatula I cooked with, and then I got a clean one out to flip it because I'm terrible at cooking, at frying eggs. I always crack them, and I really like my yolks to be running. But I really notice that it helps if I have a clean spatula. And if I get like right under the yolk instead of getting it somewhere else, I find that makes it easier to keep the yolk from busting too. Not always. Sometimes I still crack them. Most of the time I still do, but I feel like it just helps me a tad bit. Okay, so I feel like everybody has a go-to breakfast. Mine is always scrambled eggs, fried eggs, some type of eggs with vegetables and sometimes meat if we've got it. This morning I just fried three eggs. Um, it's actually three eggs and one egg white and two pieces of ham. Usually I do like an egg white, a whole egg, and then whatever kind of vegetables we have. So I'll add mushrooms, onions, peppers, potatoes, um, broccoli even sometimes. Whatever sounds good to me, I'll just add it in there, saute it and put it on a plate, put some avocado on it, some of my Cajun seasoning, and I'm good to go. I feel like this just satisfies, satisfies me more than a cold breakfast. I really want to like overnight oats, but I can't stand them. I don't like the texture of them. I don't like how they're so cold. I'm not a really big sweet breakfast eater, so I don't really wake up every morning wanting cereal or some type of muffin or like a scone. I don't know what other sweet breakfast items there is or cold like I have to be in the mood for a smoothie or yogurt something like that so I always want a hot breakfast and scrambled eggs with vegetables avocado some type of meat maybe or like a piece of bread to make a sandwich usually does it for me so now I'm going to make an iced coffee I got this little iced coffee maker for Christmas and it's really handy it is pretty like self-explanatory and it's super easy to make you just put your water in here your coffee grounds up at up at the top of it fill this with ice and it makes it pretty quick um i just let this set for a while and let some of the ice melt before i pour it into our container to put in the fridge and then if you like these flavorings we get them from sam's club these pumps are like the best thing ever <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i put in my coffee okay so i'm not a huge huge coffee fan but I do like iced coffee and I've got to have flavoring in it if I drink it. So I usually buy this Dunkin' iced coffee from the store or the Starbucks iced coffee. I'm not big on the cold brew because it's very, very strong to me and I've not figured out how to make it where I like it. <laughs> so I get this iced coffee and I fill up my cup about halfway full. And I think I'm going to use the rest of this. About halfway full. And then I take this caramel syrup and I put about three pumps in it. Sometimes four. We'll do four. And then I'm going to use my coffee I made earlier today and just fill it up a little bit more. And then I'll share with you guys the best coffee creamer in the world. 
this Chaboni creamer. It's the vanilla. It is so, so good. I found this when I was trying to really pay attention to all the ingredients that was in the things I was buying and this was like the best one that I could find. The ingredients are just milk, cream, cane sugar, natural flavorings, and vanilla extract. So it was very minimum ingredients. I could read all of them and it is so so good. It is kind of pricey. I think they went up to about four or five dollars but it makes the world of difference. I've tried other ones. I've I don't know I've tried a ton of other ones like flavored ones name brand ones off brand ones and I cannot find one that compares so the only one that I really have found that tastes similar to this one is I found a like homemade creamer recipe and I made it and that one tasted similar but still not this so give this a shot and see if it changes your coffee game any okay so I told you guys I'm not a big coffee drinker. I don't like coffee very well, so most of my coffee is pretty much creamer. But the most satisfying thing I think there ever is is the coffee, like the creamer in your coffee when it like gets all swirly. I love that. So I have very, very light coffee. So good. Mm. You've got to try this creamer. It is, it's the best stuff ever. Y'all can screenshot it if you want to. It's so good. Okay, so I started out by laying out all of the things I want to include on our charcuterie board. And some of this I went out and bought, like all this candy I went out and got today specifically for our charcuterie board. And then this thing of bread I got. But the rest of the stuff I got for other things. And I'm going to use it for this first. So, I'm going to get to cutting all this up and plating it. So, I've got this really big, long charcuterie board. That I'm going to put everything on. But first, to keep it from like getting stained by anything, I'm going to put some cling wrap on it. And I'm doing cling wrap just so you can still see the wood through it. I'm just going to put enough on here to cover the whole entire thing. And then if you want to have it, like if you're going to move it or anything, if you want to make sure this cling wrap is on here really, really good and snug, you can add some tape to the other side, which I'm not moving this, but I can't stand loose cling wrap, so I might do that anyways. So I'm going to add my fruit dip only to one side because I don't think we need a whole ton of it, but I'm going to add it over here. And this is just cream cheese, heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and some vanilla or cheesecake pudding, whichever one you want to use.
now I'm going to go on to some of my savory things. I'm first going to add my pepperonis to the board. And I know some people do like little hearts, but I don't think I'm gonna deal with that today. I'm trying to put it on here in frame. Okay, how I'm gonna do my pepperonis, I'm gonna fold them in half, fold them in half again to make a little ruffle. And then I'm just gonna lay them opposite ways so they'll stay closed. little cheese variety pack and I'm going to make these look like little hearts so I also picked up these little heart shaped cookie cutters and they were just a dollar there's six different shapes in them so I'm going to cut these little cheese into little baby hearts Okay, I like doing it on both sides because it feels like it kind of evens out the board a little bit more. And then another reason why is I think it kind of helps with when people are eating it. They don't have to go to one side to get everything. And then it doesn't seem like your charcuterie board gets like empty as fast either in one area. So if you put all the sweet stuff on one side and all the savory stuff on one side, it always looks like you have gaps in your board after people start eating on it but I feel like this way you have a more even kind of feel of everything so it looks better when you put it out and also looks better when people start snacking on it and then another cute little thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these heart shapes to put some of my sweets in. So I'm going to put them on each side of the board and then I'm going to fill my little hearts up with these sour, little sour hearts.
Okay, so we first have this smoked Gouda mac and cheese. We've never tried this, but I've heard it's really good, so we're gonna give that a shot. And then I've got this roasted potato seasoning I'm gonna put on our potato wedges. Got a few onions out here. I'm going to attempt to make some onion rings. And then I really like sauteed mushrooms on my burger for like a mushroom and Swiss burger. So I got a few of those and then some Roman tomatoes for our burgers. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on everything. Okay, so I read on a recipe if you got your onions out and soaked them before you made your onion rings, it helped with batter and moisture in the onion and everything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I cannot handle cutting my onions on my cutting board with the peelings and getting my peeling on my cutting board. So I always cut away from my cutting board until I have the peeling off and then I'll bring it to my cutting, cutting board. I'm gonna take this first layer of onion off. Cause these onions had a ton of like bad spots in them. I don't really know why. Stop saying why. Okay, so I always take my onion off of my cutting board to get the peeling off of it. And then I bring it back to my cutting board when the peeling's off. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these, I'm gonna cut it in three slices. Have us some really big thick onion rings. Okay, so they're about, I don't know, I don't know how big that would be. An inch or so? I'm not sure. But, I'm gonna save these middles for to saute some of them. And then I'm just going to split up my onions and put them in my bowl. I really have no clue how many onions you make for like onion rings. To be honest, it looks like one onion is gonna give you like a ton of onion rings. So I might just make one or two. Kind of tough to separate these. Okay, to be honest, this is. I really hadn't. I feel like one onion's gonna be enough because I almost have this. Like, I have probably eight onion rings already in this bowl over here. And I don't think many people are gonna be eating onion rings. Oh, I missed the bowl completely on that one. So, I think this will be good. I'm just trying to get them all to fit in my bowl. And then I'm going to pour a cup of milk on them. See if that covers them. And then I'm going to do a cup of water. Okay, do a cup of water. Okay, now I'm going to mix in cup of water try to get them all in there okay I have them all covered now and I'm gonna put a lid on these and put them in the fridge until later
Okay, so first I'm gonna add two eggs in here. And then I'm gonna add in all my spices. I'll leave the measurements down below on what I'm adding and how much. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. And a little bit of Worcester shower sauce. Worcester shower, Worcester, I don't know how you say this. And then I'm gonna stir this up really well. pieces of wax paper so I can put the burgers on here so they won't stick together. Okay, so I went ahead and added some crackers and French onions into this. I just chopped it up a lot, got it pretty fine, and now I'm gonna mix it up. Okay, so I'm just cutting the potatoes in wedges and then adding them to a gallon bag. Okay, so now that they're all added to your bag, I'm just gonna add some olive oil in here. And try to mix that up pretty good in it. Might need to add a slot more if it's not coating all of them. Don't shake them around. And then I'm going to take our season packet and just pour them over top of it and then close up the bag and give it a good shake. Now get out a large baking sheet. And I'm gonna coat this in aluminum foil just because it'll make it clean up a little bit easier. Okay, so in one bowl, you're gonna need two eggs with a half a cup of milk. In another bowl, you're gonna need half a cup of flour. And then this bowl, the last bowl, you need a cup of panko breadcrumbs. I put three fourths in here because I didn't know if I would need it all. And I figured I could add more if I ran out. Got my little onion ring chef over here cooking. 
shift boy already. They're turning out pretty good. They look good. This is the one you already got cooked. It looks pretty good. Perfect. It's like a perfect onion ring. I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day and I hope it gave you some meal ideas, some things that you could fix for you or your family. These onion rings were really good, so give these a try and let me know how you guys like them. But thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. If you guys haven't already, I would love for you to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.